those who sailed on her, it will be a day long remembered. I'm Sharon Young, and I was lucky enough to travel twice. Uh, my father was NATO, uh, and NATO was based in Paris before it was in Belgium, which is where it is now. I went over when I was seven and uh, was able to come back when I was about 10. It's not just a ship. It's, it's a representative of a time of, of excellence in engineering and design and art. You were rather, you were proud to be on it. Um, not because of its glamour, but because of its, its innovation, its innovative style. The best thing about it was that you, as a kid you had free reign to do anything and the staff was wonderful. They wrapped your feet in towels. They kind of kept a watch over you as you ran around the ballroom and up and down the promenade and all the places that you weren't supposed to go. I remember my parents saying, please stop bothering the elevator operators um, because it was so much fun to go forward and also go up and down at the same time. So that was just a total <laughs> joy um, and it was uh, it was magic it was absolute magic it really does need to be preserved in some manner um, because it it was the best of what America had at the time and also nobody makes ships like this anymore uh, it's just the design was exquisite <laughs>